Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. We're gonna talk about the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell. He is discussing, or did discuss, de-dollarization. I probably need two quotes, but I got my notes. De-dollarization, uh, the threat and the risk of the US dollar losing reserve currency status. This news comes out of Bitcoin.com. Now check this out. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has discussed the threat of de-dollarization and the risk of the US dollar losing its world reserve currency status. He believes that the USD hegemony is a consequence of America's economic dominance. Let me ask you this. If you were in charge of the world's system or a system or any system, you were the lead, the head. And all of a sudden, that lead, being the head, being superior, started to get threatened. And little by little, your market cap, your market share, your ability to do what you do best, or at least did best yesterday or the month before, the year before, started, was threatened. And someone or some company started to chip away at your dominance. Let me ask you this. When asked if you were losing your edge, the dominance, or whatever it is, what would you tell whoever was asking? Think about it. The answer is nothing. Everything's fine. Everything's still on track. Even if you knew that you were being attacked and you were losing your edge, you would not let anyone know. Why would you? Because if you did, Anyone asking you would see that as a sign of weakness and see that you knew the writing was on the wall and they would immediately go to look at your competitor. That is how life works. This is, this is stuff coming directly from Jerome Powell. Check this out. Fed Chair Powell on the threat of de-dollarization, USD losing reserve currency status. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell addressed the de-dollarization concerns during his testimony before testimony before the House Financial Services Committee on Wednesday. Congressman Richie Torres from New York, Democrat, asked the Fed chair, as you know, the U.S. has foreign adversaries, particularly the CCP, that seem intent on de-dollarization. How seriously should the threat of de-dollarization be taken in your view? Let's stop right there and remind you of a couple of things. Um, first off, Jerome Powell, I'm sorry, um, Ben Bernanke in 2005 being asked by Maria Bonturono, I've brought this up a ton of times on CNBC when she says, hey, there is a looming threat that we are hearing about and these rumors that the housing market can take a big hit and these mortgage-backed securities are not a threat to the, the activity of the housing market and the stance and stamina of the housing market, the value of the housing market. And he straight up said, I don't agree with you, Nothing's been better. Nothing's, the housing market's not been stronger. Everything's good. We fixed all the problems, even if they were a problem, right? Complete lie. Hey, what about Janet Yellen? Back in 2017, when she said, we will never ever see a banking crisis like we did in the Great Recession in our lifetimes. Now, 100% dead wrong. Okay, here's the truth. They do not want you to know the house of cards is falling, okay? So now let's go back to what Jerome Powell said. Powell replied, the status of the United States of the dollar as a world's reserve currency is a very important thing to us, he added. I think the reason we have the status is largely due to our great democratic institutions, or the military, the rule of law, and the fact that we have, generally speaking, had strong levels of price stability. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys think that uh, we have price stability says here, and I think the dollar will remain the world's or the reserve currency as long as those things are in place, he opined. So let's stop there. Do you think that everything is going to stay in place? Do you think that we are going to be at status quo for the next couple of years? Or do you think that we are collapsing right now? I will choose the latter. He also goes on to say, and I think the dollar, oh, sorry, the lawmaker Further asked Powell whether he thinks the U.S. dollar's global reserve currency status is the cause of America's economic dominance or a consequent of it. This is what the Fair Ched replied, the, fair, the Fed chair. To me, it's more of a consequence. Also, there tends to be an equilibrium where one currency becomes the accepted global standard, and that has been the dollar for some time, and I expect that it will for some time continue to be, Powell further explained. Let me stop there. The dollar has only had world reserve status since really the 40s, 50s through the 60s, that whole time period. When Bretton Woods really came into um, uh, favor, really became the acceptable norm that the dollar, that certain 
assets around the world would be priced in dollars, primarily oil, but it, it moved into so many other things. We have enjoyed that status. Now, I want you to remember that before that, really, one of the standards was the British pound. And it was pounded into failure through two world wars, all right? And before that, it had its status for well over 100 years. As a matter of fact, I want to say it was over 200 years that they had that status. We are the new kid on the block. We are nothing. We are small. We are a blip, a blip in Earth's economic history. To say that we are going to, we are the end all be all is the pride that comes before the fall. And I want people to understand that it's very, very important. Now, it says here, some people disagreed with Fed chairman, the Fed chairman, the economic ninja. Economist Peter Schiff, for example, tweeted, Powell is wrong. The dollar's reserve currency status was originally a consequence of America's economic dominance, but it, since become, it has since become the main prop upon which the economic dominance now rests. Once the dollar's reserve status is lost, U.S. economic dominance will topple. I agree with Peter, and also I want to state for the record we are losing right now before you, in your face, the world reserve status. The, the facts are other countries are no longer using the dollar for trade settlement. That's it. This is happening right in front of us. You can't make this crap up. It's really happening. It says here, meanwhile, a growing number of countries worldwide are ramping up their de-dollarization efforts, including members of the BRICS economic bloc and the members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The BRICS also has a proposal for a common currency that is expected to be discussed at the group's upcoming leader summit. You know, the one where they're trying to threaten, like, arresting Putin if he shows up. France is trying to get in the door. They're doing anything they can to get in the door. The fact of the matter is, these countries have put together a couple of amazing things. A uh, substitute for the SWIFT system, it's called SIPS, much faster, much cheaper, way better, right? New technology, not some antiquated 1960s text messaging app. Serious stuff. They've also worked on getting uh, accumulating gold, and they want to go to a gold standard. And if you look at what happened with Basel III requirements, making gold a tier one asset, you're starting to see where these countries are going. Even the ECB and Christine Lagarde is calling for, as much as I can't stand her, she's calling for a new Bretton Woods. They want countries' currencies tied to what they produce, something real, something out of the ground. <laughs> literally, literally, oil, gold, something. They want it tied to something. The only people that are fighting this seems to be the U.S. So the question is, who do you think is going to win? The United States and their fiat currency that they're just printing into oblivion, literally doubled the money supply in the last three years, or the rest of the world that are out there buying things like land, food, farms, gold, stuff like that. I have a feeling, sad to say, I'm going with the other countries. We need to wake up. If we don't stand up right now and, and literally grow our wealth by actually buying things that God created, we're going to be stuck with what Satan created, fake paper currency. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. The Economic Ninja is out.